15 year old girl presents to the emergency room complaining of decreased vision in both eyes she also tells you that she has been experiencing worsening headaches over the last two months and that she has been tripping more when she walks this is very important over here tripping more when she walks this is a very important clue word for this case you immediately order a ct scan of her head and demonstrates the presence of the multiple cystic lesions throughout the cerebellum and brain stem consistent with hemangioblastomas so whenever we talk about the hemangioblastomas multiple cystic lesions in the cerebellum as well as brain stem which is responsible for tripping when she walks and uh, worsening headache and the age of the child is approximately like 15 year all these are the important clue words for us to identify it is a von hippel lindau and we will see so this von hippel lindau is a autosomal dominant disorder that results in the deletion of the vhl gene deletion of the vhl gene is the defect or the cause we can say over here and it is a tumor suppressor gene vhl gene and located on the chromosome 3 so the pathophysiology of this is we know that vhl gene is a tumor suppressor gene now and this gene encodes for the protein that is responsible or involved we can say in inhibition of rna synthesis with the mutation of this gene the ability to inhibit rna synthesis will be like you know blocked and responsible for vascular malformations and other tumors what will develop so this is what you will see in the von hippel lindau mainly this gene encodes <coughs> for a protein this protein responsible for inhibiting rna synthesis whenever the gene is mutated ability to inhibit rna synthesis is gone and vascular malformations develop along with other tumors so that is what you need to know and in the clinical manifestations initially this von hippel lindau presents with headache initially so headache is a very important and the most uh, initial clinical manifestation of the von hippel lindau along with this ataxia so headache plus ataxia or loss of vision is a very important marker in this case and this disease is specifically characterized by the hemangioblastomas or cavernous hemangiomas so what are cavernous hemangiomas these are the large vascular spaces filled with the blood called as cavernous hemangiomas but compared to that of uh, so these cystic lesions what we will see in the cerebellum as well as the brain stem that is hemangioblastomas so whenever you see the word hemangioblastomas you have to think that hemangioblastomas are more commonly associated with the headaches as well as at age gate and a 15 year old girl means it is a von hippel lindau only there is no other disease which cause all this and we said that it causes a vascular malformations and other tumors right vascular malformations means it causes uh, cystic uh, spaces which is filled with the blood that is cavernous hemangiomas we are anyway seeing of the cerebellum brain stem not only these two areas but more commonly in the cerebellum as well as in the brain stem but you'll also see this hemangioblastomas in the retina as well as like adenomas and cysts of the liver kidney and pancreas so other organs which are involved is the adenomas of the cysts adenomas as well as uh, cysts of the liver kidney as well as pancreas and one important thing is von hippel lindau is responsible for increased incidence of renal cell carcinoma so the most important complication of the von hippel lindau is uh, increased incidence of renal cell carcinoma what we are seeing over here other tumors associated the von hippel lindau or like uh, pheochromocytoma and ocular hemangioblastomas so when compared to that of your chromocytomas as well as 
ocular hemangioblastomas increased incidence of renal cell carcinoma is more commonly seen in the von Hippel lindo and the treatment option is the surgical removal of the tumor as well as the radiation therapy what we will see over here so this is the case of von Hippel lindo